Hey, hey guys, welcome back to the Super Awesome Geek Show. I'm John, and today we've got a box from Chris over at the 1000th Ghost YouTube channel. Check out his uh, link in the description below. Looks like the first thing Chris has sent us is a Trapper Keeper. I remember Trapper Keepers. I had Trapper Keepers as a kid, so this is really bringing back some memories. Thank you, Chris. This is awesome. <laughs> Trapper Keeper portfolio. Wow. Yeah. This is cool. Yeah, I didn't know they still made Trapper Keepers. And I think I was talking one time about it, and Chris was like, yeah, they do. <laughs> so, Topps Chrome Star Wars cards. Now, uh, Chris knows that I collect, I do actually collect a lot of Star Wars trading cards and some Marvel. So he sent me, uh, looks like he sent me some extras that he has here. So maybe I can fill out some of my sets because I don't have a full collection of each one of these yet so um, maybe we'll get closer to a set with some of these that's pretty cool I like these chrome cards especially they're um, really nice looking cards shiny there's an awful lot of Grogu in there though <laughs> But just showing off different characters in Star Wars. Job of the Hut. There we go. Han Solo. Yeah, I like them. I think they're pretty cool. Hopefully that'll make me... Uh, with what I got and what's here, maybe we'll finish up my set. Shang-Chi. I actually never had any Shang-Chi cards. So these will be the first ones that I have from Shang-Chi. I um, Shang, Shang-Chi, whatever. I... Yeah, I didn't, I didn't buy this set. I generally will, with Marvel, I'll generally get stuff that's not specific to one show. I'll get, like, the, the overall things. Um, so this is cool. It'll be the first time I get to look through some of these. Nice. Shang-Chi. Yeah, Star Wars Obi-Wan. Again, I think I have some of these, but not a full set. So now maybe with what's in here... I can end up putting together a set. There's a lot in here. Wow. Wow, nice. So purple variants. Keep keep moving them the wrong way. But they blue variants. And then we have droids. Some chase cards in here. Creatures and aliens. I don't remember these. <laughs> There's the pikes. I don't remember the other two. <laughs> Heroes. I don't know half these guys either. So <laughs> There's Bale. Yeah, Obi-Wan, of course. Leia. And then we got some regular cards here. I've just always liked trading cards since I was a kid. I don't know why I still like them but I just love them I don't know why it's just I think they're fun to look at they don't have a purpose you know <laughs> so it's like kind of outdated but these are the ones that I really got into I bought a couple packs of these and uh, so it's good to have these because this again is a set because it's a generic set for all of Marvel so I um I like these kind of things and it's a nice chrome set so maybe with what's here I can finish out some of the ones I'm missing from my from what I got. So yeah. All right, let's get into the figures. Whatever's in here, Scooby Doo, the Witch Doctor. Wow, look at that. I didn't even know they made these larger sized figures. Scooby Doo, Shaggy with a fridge. Witch Doctor and Fred. Series four coming soon. Hmm. This is series three. So we're Velma and them in series one or two. Snake Eyes, Commando, Keychain. Is it a keychain? Oh, it's a lanyard, a Funko Pop lanyard. Okay. Neat. Snake Eyes is one of the greatest characters ever made. So that's cool. Oh, look at this. E.T., Hot Wheels car. Hot Wheels character car of E.T. Pretty neat. It's got a bike on the back. 
I don't see E.T. in this car, but sure, whatever. <laughs> the car doesn't look like E.T., I don't think. But it's cool. I like it. I'm glad. I love E.T. stuff, so that'll go in the E.T. shelf. Another thing for the Yoda shelf. We got a little Lego Grogu here. Lego stuffed Grogu. I don't have this one yet, so that's cool. We've got some Funko... It's another lanyard thing, isn't it? Is this like the New Republic logo? I can't remember. I, mean, I can't... I, I know like the Rebel logo and the TIE Fighter logo. <laughs> but I think this is the New Republic logo, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. We'll see. This is pretty cool. I like the patch. Godzilla. Oh, I love these kind of things. This is uh, some movie giveaway stuff. And I, I love these movie giveaway things. There's a little freeze frame there. Supposedly a, a real autograph from Roland Emmerich or someone. It's D, Is it Dean Devlin or Roland Emmerich? I think they both did this movie, right? Kmart stuff. Wow. And we have some things that are... These remind me... Pin, pin mate... Inmate. They remind me of those little people, wooden peg people from uh, Fisher Price. And um, this is pretty cool. The Punisher. I didn't even know they made these. We got a whole bunch of them here. Luke Cage. Yeah, I had no clue these were even a thing. And uh, Gwenpool. Wooden figure. They're still wooden. We're still made of wood. Yeah. Hey, she's got a card like thing on the back. Do these other ones have? No, they don't. Is she the only one with a card thing on the back? Vision. Collect them all. Maybe that card back in the back flips around and becomes Spider Woman. And we got oh, Daredevil. That's a cool looking one. I like Daredevil. I like that. That's a neat one. Thor. And he's got his wings glued to the side of his head. <laughs> That's funny. That's good. I like the Thor one. That's a good one. Mary Jane. And uh, Peter Parker. Peter. <laughs> oh, he's got his camera there. That's right. Yep, yep. Peter Parker. It's cool. All right. What's next? We got uh, Indiana Jones Funko Pop number 1355. Pretty neat. Funko. I'll probably remove that from the box and just put him with my other Indiana Jones guys. Battlestar Galactica Cylon Commander Blockbuster Rewind little videotape looking box with a Cylon inside. That's pretty cool. Probably put this in with the Battlestar Galactica display. Got all the old figures and stuff in there and it'll be neat to have it look like I have a VCR box in there. That's pretty cool. VHS box. Greta, Greta, and Stripe. Itty bitties. I have a few Star Wars itty bitties, but I've never branched out to anything else. So this is cool. I like the Gremlins itty bitty stuff. Greta, 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 right? Yeah, okay. And this is Stripe, yeah. They can go together as a pair. And then uh, let's see what's next. Rummage, rummage, rummage. We have a Yoda keepsake ornament from Hallmark. And this is really cool because I don't have this particular one. This, I think, is from 1997 or so. And uh, I don't have this particular one in my collection, so this is cool. I have I got started getting Yoda ornaments after this one, and uh, 
They're all of a slightly different mold, a different style, different design. Yeah, 1997. Pretty cool. So this is really nice. Great addition to the Yoda collection. And here we have another thing to add to the Yoda collection. Star Wars High Republic Adventures. Disney Comics with the Yoda cover. This is cool. I like it. I like it a lot. And uh, we have a Grogu sticker. Is this a little sticker? Yeah, a little Funko sticker. Pretty neat. We got a lot of little bits here. We got a Mudhorn Star Wars pin, button pin badge. We have Knights of the Old Republic keychain like thing. It's got Revan and the good girl. I forgot her name already, but those two are on here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good girl and Revan. Now, I, I let me know in the comments what's her name again. I I did I have her figure somewhere. I I just can't remember it off the top of my head. A patch for the Razor Crest. That's pretty neat. I like patches. I do for some reason. GI Joe dog tag. That's cool. I like that. That's really nice. Really cool there. I'm gonna hang that up somewhere. Star Wars card back card. What are these? This is... Wow. This is so cool. Darth Vader 12 back. I have Darth Vader on 12 back for real. I have that Death Squad Commander on a 12 back also. C-3PO. A Mana Man. Boss with the free Revenge of the Jedi sticker. I like that. Admiral Akbar was the Revenge of the Jedi figure you could get. Walrus Man. Uh, 21 back. Pretty cool. Royal Guard. 65 back with the blacked out Ewoks. A Palatoy. Look at that. Palatoy Hammerhead. That is great. The Death Star and showing 20 figures on the back. 21 back Luke Skywalker X-Wing. Revenge of the Jedi Luke Bespin. That's a cool card back. Star Wars Luke. 12 back. Yep. Yeah. The Empire Strikes Back Boba Fett. Second card release. He was first on a Star Wars card. Then he came out on this 48 back, which was pretty cool. So that's a neat card back to have. FX7, Han Solo Empire with a Revenge, IG-88 on a 41 blue back. Yoda on the uh, with the coin, Power of the Force. Awesome. Yoda Palatoy Empire, that's cool, with the brown snake. Yoda American release with the orange snake. Well, this is awesome. I love having all the different Yoda cards. Oh, this is so cool. Thanks, Chris. Yeah, Yoda, Yoda, Yoda and up. I love this. Uh, Sand Person. That's got to be a 12 back. Yeah, cool. Han Solo, 12 back. Ben Kenobi, R2-D2. Either my Ben or Chewie. One of them is a 12 back that I have for real. 41 back. Death Star Droid with the Boba Fett offer. That's pretty cool. I like that. This is a gratis um, El Rotono. Is this? I don't know what language this is. I really don't. Is it? Is it Italian? Hammerhead Kenner. Is that a twenty-one back? Yeah. Chewbacca on uh, Tri Logo. That's pretty cool. With blacked out Ewoks. Luke Skywalker, Jawa, 12 back, Princess Leia, that was like the 47 back, I think, and there's a, there's a Jedi uh, Boba Fett, too, cool, this is really cool, I like these, these are amazing, thumbs up, yeah, great, 
We got Empire Strikes Back giant full color photo card wrappers. These are cool. Really neat. I remember these, and these are these are really cool. This is a great box, Chris. Thanks. Oh, look at these. A whole bunch of old trading card wax packs. I really like these. Last Action Hero. This is cool. Is there gum in these? I don't feel gum. Uh, Return to Oz. Nice. Yeah, there's gum in this one. I can feel it. It's right there. This is cool. Alien. Oh, no way. That's awesome. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, that one's open. Maybe we can look at Alien. Uh, look at it later. Uh, Alien Legacy cards. Cool. 21 Jump Street. Wow. Battle of the Planets. Oh, look at this. Wow. Oh, and he gave me two. You know what we can do? A Roger Rabbit, Dallas, Jaws 3D, Jaws 2, and Harry and the Hendersons. Wow, this is so cool. But you know what we can do with these? Uh, since he gave me two of Battle of the Planets, I can take one pack with me up to Joe Fest, and I'll keep one for myself and give one to G-Force. So let's, that, that'll be cool. Let's take a look at these uh, alien cards since they're already open. Hold, so slipped them out. I'll slip them back in. Here's the sticker. That is so cool. Delicious, long-lasting candy. And then we got these. I love the design of like 80s and 90s, 80s cards. They're so cool. Jonesy. Steamy peril. <laughs> Oh God, no, no! <laughs> the alien reaching for him. Uh, the landing, impacting the jockey. In what did that say? Dallas, Kane, and Lambert. Murderous android, blown into oblivion. The Last Supper. Neat. Neat. And they all have an egg on the back telling the story these are cool i like them makes me want to get the whole set and now we got some micro action figures the fly i love the fly the fly is one of my favorite movies i really do like the fly both the mod the retelling and the original are great i love it um headless horseman that's cool and the mummy Egyptian mummy. Wow. Micro figures, huh? Neat. Yeah, good stuff. And then we have... Wrapped in bubble wrap. Tailspin! Look at that. I love stuff like this. Tailspin, Disney figures, things like this. I really do like... Rebecca Cunningham... With another tail to spin. <laughs> I'd like to have the whole set of these. This is cool. Playmates made these. I've got a lot of Scrooge McDuck uh, figures and vehicles. And uh, this would be another set that'd be cool to have is the uh, tail spin stuff. Loved this show as a kid. I just, I, I totally loved watching it. I guess I was a young adult when I was watching that. I don't know. <laughs> but it was so cool. Now, I knows my love of Toy Biz. So we've got this X-Men Spy Wolverine. This was actually Wolverine 5, I believe, in America. Thrusting Knife Action. And this is a, not an American release. This is Charon Toys. So this is another, this is a different card back than what we got from Toy Biz in America. So uh, this is a really cool addition to the collection because it just gives me a different variant. I've already got three or four variants of this particular figure and did a video on them. And uh, so now it's cool to have another variant of that figure. Um so cool to have it if there was one to pick on an alternate card back it would be this one that was a good one and then we have the kb exclusive fourth edition wolverine 
Weapon X. Now, I don't even own a single Weapon X figure from Toy Biz, so it's really cool to get the KB exclusive version. I'll be tracking down the regular version uh, just to have it. And then there's also one, I believe, with blue shorts. Um, the colors are always different, and the uh, blue shorts one is worth a, like a mint. It's probably the most expensive Toy Biz figure. I got I just got cable. That's a cool figure. I want to get Shatterstar. I don't know if I have Strife, but if I don't, I want to get him. I have all these. I got Deadpool and all them. Yeah, I've got most of the figures on the back here, but this one is really cool. I didn't have him, and I'm so happy to have him now. Thank you, Chris. That is awesome. Yeah. Now I gotta go track down the other versions. <laughs> Another thing Chris knows I love is catalogs and collect books on collectibles. I collect books on collecting, and uh, it's really cool to get to see some of this stuff. And Chris and I both love these golden books, so this is a really good um, book to have. When I was a kid, I had these ones like the Three Little Kittens, the Pokey Little Puppy, the Little Red Hen. You know, we, we had these books, uh, my brother and I, and we used to read them all the time. Bunnies, magic tricks we had. This is cool. Where is the pokey little puppy? We had this day in the jungle. I remember the elephant. Yep. The shy little kitten. We had that one. Yep, I remember that one. This is cool. I love this. Yeah, this is a great book. Um... Well, we had this little puppy one, too. Yeah, these are great. The pokey little puppy, yeah. Disney Mania, Dis Disney Anna, Disney Anna, they call it, Disney Anna. Um, love Disney stuff, always have. So this is another cool book to have, just to look through and see what, just to see what's out there and things that you didn't know about, you know, like, that's what I like these books for. I like finding things in there and going, I never knew they made this. That's really cool, you know. And looking at some of the really old Disney stuff, like these stuffed animals and various figurines and things, it just shows how the designs of these characters have changed over time. I love looking at that stuff. Kids meal collectibles. Now this is something that really hits home. Because we used to get kids meals everywhere. We were we were a family that traveled. We were on the go a lot. And we got a lot of these things from various different stores. And I love looking at all the stuff from back in the day. And I wish I had... Look at this Silverhawks display. That's cool. I wish I had some of these things from when I was a kid. But a lot of this... They were little toys and they got thrown away, you know. And... Uh, it's kind of neat go, be, to be able to go through a book like this and be like, oh, I had that, I had that, and, you know, and sort of find the things that you had and get to know what they actually came from. Because it's hard to look up. I remember having a little eraser dinosaur. What was that? You know, <laughs> like you you throw eraser dinosaur into uh, the into like a search engine and you don't really get what you're looking for. I like the X-Men stuff. I thought that was cool. Ghostbusters. I remember these buckets. I remember these pails. I think we had the Captain America one. We used to take it down to the beach. Yeah. I remember those. And I remember these for some reason. Yeah. Look at all this stuff. This is great. A lot of this is advertising for the uh, various fun meals. Kids meals and stuff. GoBots. That's cool. Beetlejuice, Roy Rogers, Magic Tricks, Little Mermaid, some good stuff, Gummy Bears, wow, Dinosaurs, Land Before Time, yeah, X-Men, really cool, Long John Silvers, this is great stuff. Little Caesars. Yeah, I'm digging this. This is a really good book. This is a cool book. 
different versions of uh, Smurfs. Look at that. Box designs for like different companies. You know, you always think of the McDonald's Happy Meal, but you forget like, like Burger King had meals, Hardee's, Little Caesars. Like a lot of things went to the kids meal thing and some of them have gone away today. But I'm pretty sure that like McDonald's, Hardee's, doesn't Burger King still do kids meals? You know, like they, some of these companies still do it. And uh, look at the Star Wars stuff. This is great. I remember when I went to Celebration Chicago, they came around with Star Wars Happy Meals. And that I got still. I kept it. <laughs> they were giving them to us in line. So they just came around and gave us a bunch of them while we were in line. They had a cheeseburger, fries in it, and uh, cookies. A little bit of cookies. Look at those Silverhawks boxes. Those are cool. Thundercats. Wow. I love this. Captain Power. Scooby-Doo. Look at those alien power base things. That's cool. Is that Inspector Gadget? Bone Age? Alf? Wow, this is great. And then we have, oh, those are Mr. Men. Arby's. Yeah, Arby's to give stuff. Yeah, Mr. Men. I have that one. <laughs> I have that one. That's where this came from. I have them. I never knew if there was like a series of carded Mr. Men or if it was like what it was from. But here we go. So this is something you learn. Mr. Men, this guy, came from a, a, a meal. Probably at uh, Arby's. Or Hardee's or something, you know? That's really cool. See, that's one thing about these books. You learn where things came from. You might see something from your collection and be like, that's where this came from. Garage Sale Gold. These are good books because they cover just about everything. They might clue you into other things that you didn't think about looking at when you're at a garage sale. And that's kind of the stuff I really like. Look at that, Mr. T, G.I. Joe. It's a thing I like looking at because I'm always... A lot of my collection, what I what I like to collect is um, I, I, I can make some money by finding things at thrift stores and garage sales and reselling it. And the more knowledge you have of things that are outside your collecting wheelhouse, the better you are. Because you can buy a guitar, a photo, a piece of jewelry, a handbag, some shoes, and uh, sell those things because they're not toys, they're not comics, they're not what you collect. And then use that money to buy yourself some more toys and comics. So, uh, so I've, I've actually had good job, good uh, when I sometimes finding um, glass, like colored glass and stuff. If you get things that are really old, look at that old Lego, GI Joe stuff in here. This is cool. Yeah, finding stuff at thrift stores that are really old, like hundred year old glass things that are colored glass, and they sell for a lot of money. And then use that money to buy more toys. Oh, here we go. Barbie number one. That might be that might be Barbie number two, but uh, yeah. Star Wars. I had this book. I think I lost it somewhere down around the on the road. Tomart's Price Guide to Worldwide Star Wars. I remember this book. Maybe I didn't have it. Maybe it was just at the at the store I worked at. We might have had it as a reference book there, and I, I might not have never had this, but this is a cool book. 1994. So we're going to look at what Star Wars was like in 1994. This is what Star Wars collecting was like in 1994. And I should have been smart and even bought the expensive stuff back then. I know it. There's a lot of things that I could have bought back in the early 90s that I didn't because at that time I thought the prices were outrageous and uh, now we're kicking ourselves for not buying it because <laughs> the prices are even more outrageous posters I was a big poster collector collector I have that poster let's see what I let's see but let's take a look at some of these I have that poster we'll go up I have this one I have this one I have that one I have that one I have that one, I have that, I have that, I have that, both versions. I don't think I have that. 
I have that, 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 I have that one. Don't think I have that one. That one, um, maybe. No. And I don't have the giant one sheet thing. So I think I've got all these except for that one. Yeah. And I've got the two gloves Vader one and a few others that are not shown in the book here. Micro collection. But that a book like this is how I started collecting posters because I, I had a checklist there. And then through the years they've added so many other posters that I've just given up. But um, that was kind of like my checklist. You know, I remember that. Love all this. Look at all this stuff. This is a good way to find old Yoda items that I don't have and then go try to track them down. These are really cool. I like some of this display stuff. This is neat. Look at these. Look at that 3PO invader and the X-Wing. They don't look like that in real for real, you know? Stuff from other countries, the large size Japanese ones. Yeah, there's 8-inch 5 POA figures from Japan that are carded. Really cool looking things. They're neat to collect. Look at that. The plastic cape Jawa. The, the hand with two different heads. And the those were the variants. Those were the big known variants. And how many variants are there today? It's insane. Yeah. Back in the day, there was like maybe four or five variants that people talked about collecting. And that was it. And then nowadays, it's like almost every single figure has a variant or two. The speeder bike, you can win your own speeder bike. That's cool. I remember this glasses display. That's cool. High C. Wow. Awesome stuff. I have that that cup, the little cup. <laughs> yeah, neat stuff. So let's take a look at some of these. So the early bird kit back in 1994, you could have got for $450. <laughs> <laughs> what are they like 30 grand nowadays so that's insane uh 12 back on card 125 100s wow mine mine my first one 12 back was a darth vader back then he was 65 dollars i bought mine for 40 bucks back then so a competitive price on a jedi card he was just 20 dollars look at that can't get those prices today. Vinyl Cape Jawa. On card, loose nine dot loose fifty dollars on card mint of three fifty. Loose fifty bucks. They're three thousand dollars today. Carded upwards of fifteen grand, right? Insane. So so back then I thought it was crazy to spend three hundred dollars on a figure and never would have bought it. I was like, no way. And I'm sure I saw them for $300, $350, $400 and went, no way. The Snaggletooth Sears exclusive, it says $20 to $90. I'm, I'm pretty sure the $25 is loose and $90 is with the set, you know, um, like in its baggie or something. So you could, and I got mine for $4 back then. Yak Face with Weapon, $75 loose. Up to $400 carded. Look at that. $75 loose. That was why I didn't buy them back then. I thought it was insane to spend that much. And then look at all these droids figures. Loose $5. They're all $100 figures nowadays. Nobody wanted them in the 90s. They thought they were terrible figures. They were like, no one cares about the droids and Ewoks cartoons. Look at that, the, the, the Ewoks, even Tig From and Sissy From, $6, $10. They're $1,000 figures now. You can't even, they're so hard to find. Loose, they're over $1,000. And you, they're now, they were 10 bucks back then, $6 back then. Why didn't we buy them back then? Look at all the Ewoks, $5 each. Insane. Uncle Gundy, 5 bucks. R2 with pop-up lightsaber, $10 loose. $10. R2 with pop-up lightsaber, 1994, $10. $700 today, right? That's incredible. It's incredible. Well, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate it. 
Let me know what the best part of this video was for you. I love looking through those old catalogs myself. I appreciate this thing, Chris. Thank you so much for uh, sending these things. I will treasure each and every one of them. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Stay awesome out there, everybody. We'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm John, and I'm out of here. See you.